Hello everyone, this is Alan from Tech Moments. Today I'm gonna share with you the experience that we had with this 100 watt quick charging station that provides you with four ports and that will let you charge up to four simultaneous devices with all the power that PD ports offer you. More of that in a moment. It comes very well packaged. You will find the unit, the user's manual, and the accessory box with power and data cable Type-C to Type-C and the vertical support. All of them seem to be very good quality. Important to note here that it is a good idea to take a look at all the possible combinations of power that this unit can provide. So let's take a look at the main unit itself. Weight can let you guess the quality of the main unit too. So basically this is a power supply unit with all the advantages that PD or power delivery can offer you. Data cable, which we liked, and the materials of which it is made, is rated at 5 amps maximum. Of course, this in accordance to the power of the main unit and the voltages for each power being delivered. It looks very well in the stand and this position makes it very practical for space saving on your desktop or wherever you decide to place it. We immediately put it to the test and the first thing that I noticed is that this unit for sure is gonna replace a couple other chargers that I have in my desktop as it will be able to provide power through one port in up to 100 watts but can also charge all the phones on my house in one place. I might actually end up buying another one for my living room. So let's see this as a summary. You have two USB Type-C ports being able to deliver 100 watts each or if you use both at a maximum of 65 and 30 watts respectively. The two USB Type-A ports at a maximum of 22.5 watts each, either one, or both simultaneously at 45 watts. Again, if you want to find out how much power depending on the devices that you connect you're gonna get, you can refer to the user's manual and this graph that will explain very graphically how to optimize the power output if you're gonna be using demanding devices such as laptops, MacBooks, or monitors connected to this unit. We also noticed that it might take a few seconds for the unit to adapt to the negotiated power needed by each one of your devices you connect to them. And you'll see how voltages change depending again on the connected device and the configuration they support. After being on for a while, unit of course got warm, but surprisingly cool for the long periods of time we used it at 60 to 70% load. Of course, maxing it out might raise the temperature quite a bit as we've been able to see in other units we've tested. Overall, we liked it very much. It actually provides you with the power stated and the specs that are provided. We hope this video was of great help for you, especially if you're deciding which one is the best power adapter that you can get for your devices. See you next time.